Dear friends, as we mark the 40 years of our presence in Moon God Mission, memories come flooding into my consciousness. I went there 30 years ago, in 1991 to be exact, when the then provincial Father Anand Prabhu sent me there for my diaconate ministry under Father Matthew Lewis, who was the parish priest and superior. During my diaconate ministry, I was exposed to pastoral work, social work and helping Father Lawrence Pinto to purchase the land, fence it, put up small sheds there, etc. He encouraged me to start a youth group inclusive of all faiths in Mungo town. We had a lively youth group with 48 youth, boys and girls, with several activities to cater to their formation. Those years of my life and work in Mundgod were years of graces and challenges. First, let me recount the graces. I had the privilege of living and working with great spiritual and apostolic giants. Father Matthew Lewis, Father Lawrence Pinto, Father Paulos Vallakada, Father Ambrose de Mello, Father Pradeep Sitwera. I learned so much from them mainly how to integrate the service of faith and struggle for justice as faith and commitment to the suffering humanity. I learned how to celebrate life, a lesson taught to me by the simple people like Siddhis, Gaulis, Lambanis, Gollas and other poor people. We need not have great facilities to celebrate life. That is what I learned. We didn't have lectures on poverty, but the situation taught us how to live on rupees 2000 a month for two of us, the director and the regent. We did it so joyfully. Our superiors in the mission were a great example for us, the youngsters. They too lived a very simple life. The dedicated staff, which worked day and night staying with poor people in the villages in small sheds, getting a small remuneration of rupees 400 a month was the greatest motivation to me. They were mostly young, unmarried women. Of course, there were challenges. Traveling through the forests, at times being confronted by bears and leopards, sometimes crossing the streams, cycling at times 35 kilometers one way. Living on Upitu in the morning, Upitu at noon time and Upitu when the sun comes down. There was no money for additional food. Striving to meet the people's expectations. People lived with hope. They had trust in us. How to cope with their expectations. With all the challenges, although they, they were sometimes hard to face, I can boldly say that the graces and blessings far outweighed the difficulties and hardships. That is what made life in Mundgod worth living. I would not exchange that experience for anything else on earth. With the celebrated Jesuit poet Gerard Manley Hopkins, I would say, far into the northern realms amidst verdant forests of Mundgod I was full of joy there, I was indeed at home. Therefore, as we celebrate these 40 years of dedicated work for the education, emancipation and empowerment of the people of Mundgod through the pastoral, social and educational and spiritual ministries, we recall with warmth, affection and gratitude all the stalwarts who built up the mission and have gone before us. We congratulate and wish well to the present band of dedicated men who in close collaboration with their partners in mission, men and women are doing such fantastic work today. And finally we pray that the Lord may continue to accompany us in the years and decades to come until ruby leads to gold and gold to diamond and diamond to platinum and platinum to the centennial. God bless us all.